first thing they do is walk around with the cars. The back person is the driver, the front person is got their bumpers up. First time their eyes are open, second time they're going to close one eye. Because 
Texas. His name is Mark Mark Love Downhill Skiing. He'll go once a year over an extended weekend. This is what this is what Marty found. He says, Art, I get up there, I get my slopes on Friday afternoon. And I'm rusty. I'm rusty, but I'm feeling okay, but I'm rusty. Saturday, I am. I'm feeling like my old self. Sunday, I'm getting a double diamond, double diamonds off the roof. Great. Monday, I gotta go back to work. That's what happens to the That's what happens to the You're never able to ensure that all kids learn those skills if you just think about that. Think about that. Four o'clock that they speak in and out. Okay, I've talked a lot. 10.45. We're going to take a 10-minute break. Good, strong 10-minute break. 10.45, 10 Come back there, 10.55. Come on, let's get a new skill to learn. So don't get too far off. Encourage them to learn the skill. Okay, go. Throw that little rag back and forth. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm obviously not his school. Oh no, it's hers. Oh, where'd you get it? Where'd you buy it? Do what? Where did you buy it? Oh, um, Best Buy. Okay. Yeah. Can it, See if it's, it's a can. I'm recording, huh? Yeah. Yes, it's very easy. And it loads straight onto your computer, not the screen. You are working off the old Best Buy I got my master's degree. 
history at UNC Chapel Hill, the, the Chapel Hill baseball coach would get his kids into the athletes. They would get them down on the knees and dip. They would catch the ball here and throw it from here. Why is he doing that? He wants every one of his athletes to understand the hips. That hip rotation is something that's very important for him to throw. Catch it here. Why do we teach all these things? Why do we say step in opposition? Why do we say elbow high, not elbow low? Generate follow. At the elementary school level, you have the ability because you're in a learning class. You have the ability to ask the teach the why. This is what I want you to do. Because I got this from Stevie Chepko. Stevie Chepko teaches that teaches that us with her problems. Talk to South Carolina. She's a bolder, skilled expert. She shared this at a conference that I attended in the summer. I want you to do this. I want you and your partner to grab the ball, lay down, put yourself like this. I want you to take the ball, position yourself, and I want you to throw your ball to your partner. I want you to catch something. Ooh. All right, this should be interesting, huh? I guess he's trying to show you what it's like to... Th to... Oh!
Let's go second. And you are Warren, take it on Warren. Warren can throw and catch all day long facing this one. He is a very skillful thrower in the gym. He can probably throw a ball from one sideline to the other sideline and throw like this. He's not facing this one. He's facing like this. He can probably do that. He's a skillful player. But if I took a softball or baseball or football, in this real environment, not in the gym. There's only five sports that you can play in the gym. One that might be six. There's only, there's only about five sports that you can really play in the gym, and this is the natural environment. Basketball, volleyball, gymnastics, square dance. You can't play football in the gym. But it's not the real environment. You can't play a game of baseball in the gym. You're not throwing long distances. So if I'm throwing like this, elbow low, elbow low, elbow low, elbow low. Unless you take me outside where I really have to throw, you're never going to be able to assess if I really know how to throw. Yeah. I never thought of breaking it down like he did. That's really a nice break in the day. 
It is a mess, and I love the keys. So. But I like that they're learning why they're doing it a certain way because a lot of times that makes it focus on better. Well, take all. I'm gonna let you have your. I'm gonna let you have this. Back. That, I think. I hope I did okay.
One can praise a weak body to strength, a fearful heart to peace and trust, and shattered nerves to the point of the According to this quotation, one can praise a weak body to strength, a fearful heart to peace and trust, and shattered nerves to the point of the problem. According to this quotation, how many people does it take? Does it take a village? Does it take a site-based management committee? Does it take a new school board collection? Who's the one? And I'll be telling you a story maybe later on that kind of reinforces the fact that you're the one. You are the one. Okay, I'm going to turn over the chair. Yes, for that quotation. If you don't, if you don't work them, they'll work you. In other words, if you don't give them something to do, they'll give you something to do. And so this is one of her instant activities. An instant activity is a game or an activity that can capture kids from the moment they come out of the locker room, ready to roll, until the end of class go back in. We want kids to physically active at least 50% of the time of PE. Moderate and vigorous physical activity. And in this case, this is more of a cooperative sportsmanship type of um, uh, activity. So this is called a mystery maze. Mystery maze is made up of old painter drop cloths and some duct tape that I have. So the first eight kids I come out of the locker room with a smile on her face, ready to roll. She says, you're going to be the mystery maze master, or you're going to be the mystery maze mistress. So Chris came out with a smile on her face, come across her. This is the magic of the magic. He's there right there. And Bridget, put your mom in your water in the room. Okay, so Bridget and, and Chris are the two maze masters. And what Melody no Champion says, boys and girls, you come out of the laundry room and you see the mystery maze maze all around the gym. She has eight of these all around the gym. So I want you to quickly, as soon as you come out of the laundry room, find one of the mazes, and when you have eight people in line, you can start. And the way they do that is there are there's a series of X's on that little chart. You've got to find the correct X to start in. As an example, as an example, if there was an X here on Christmas Day, and I step here, you go ding, 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 we go already, we're on board. Oh, okay. Now this is an X, so I can go to my right, right diagonal, forward, left diagonal, or left. I can't skip. I can't go over to here, but I can go to an adjacent square. So I'm thinking, oh. So, uh, I'll try right here. So I, I, I step here. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, if there was a ding, ding, if there was a next ding, 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 oh, wait, no, I'm already. I'm thinking wow, I can wow. go here, 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 here. I'm going to go here. If there was an S, you would go ding, 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 wait, no. You don't go backwards, but you can go to the right, right diagonal, forward, left, left diagonal, left. Your job is as a team to get all the way over to here as a team. Now, what's Melanie Champion doing while these folks are being doing this? Check and roll. She's taking the roll. She's taking the tennis. This is an active roll call or active attendance strategy. Keep this engaged. You don't like it. Now, your job is to make mistakes. Your job as a team is to make mistakes and to learn from each other. When Melanie does this, she says, no copy. I want this to be a silent activity. But for us, we need to talk. So, if you get stuck out here and say, well, I forgot where to go, then one of y'all can kind of help each other to get it. Okay, it's a team building activity. Your job is not to be the first person to get through. Your job is to be the first team to help everyone get through. So they go once since the first person goes, the next person go right after? No. no. One at a time. When she misses, she goes fast. Oh, so one person, yeah. 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 If they hit like this far, they go back to the next one. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I got it. I got it. My kids have a sack of holes. Okay. Ready? Ready? Go. 
Ding, ding, ding. Oh, go, 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 go. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, okay, come oh, on. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, she look. Don't forget what she's doing, Clam. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Right, right, right. Ding, wow, ding, wow, ding, wow. Ding, ding, ding. ding, ding, ding. ding. Whoa! Uh, Go to your right. Yeah. Uh, He's done the left. Ding. Uh, oh, 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 No, they've done these two. Oh, 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 Okay, so the top two ding, left one. This way? Ding. Right diagonal. Diagonal. Right to the right. Ding. Yes! Forward. Ah! Oh, oh, forward. Straight, straight. Mm -hmm. Here. Here. Was it to the right. To the right. Oh, to your left. To your left. To your left. Go. Not, not diagonal, baby. It was That's your my fault. left. You stay left. That's my left. I know, but I want you to step left, not diagonal. Forward. Right. Ding. To your left. left. Diagonal to the Diagonal right. right. Ding. Ding. Now, straight, straight ahead. Uh, right. Oh! Yeah. It's got to be the left one. All right, we got it, guys. Go. Right. Step. Straight. Left. 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 Diagonal right. to the right. Diagonal. Right. Diagonal. Now, to the left, left. diagonal. Left. To the left. Yes. All right. It's this one. No. No, he, she can't do that. So maybe right here. Because we did the diagonal right here. So it's got to be the one right next to it. Forward. Now to, to your left. Diagonal to the right. To your left. Step to your left. No. To your left. 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 Just forward. Just forward. Yeah. 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 Wrong way there. Claire, that's oh, right. Oh, Wrong foot, Claire. Yeah. Okay, forward. Step to the left. Diagonal to the right. To the left. To the left. To the left. Yes. It's a dance step. Yes. They have, because they've looked at it backwards the whole time. Yay!
moving forward. They don't have to worry about this. Five. So now they have how many choices would it be? Uh, four. Four. Okay. So it's really three. Actually, because four. I can go I here, here, or here. I can't go there because it's not a J. Oh, I see. If the correct X was here, how many choices do I have? Two. It is two. If the correct X was here, how many choices do I have? Two. So you can make it really simple. You don't have to have rows. You don't have to have drop cloths. Uh, think about getting a own shower curtain. Go to Walmart. Because it's cheap as a pair of shower curtains. And we have, this is a door prize from Everlast Climbing that will be given away tomorrow night. It was a $99 official one with several master cards. Okay, I'll call Chalk works well. Carpet squares. I got plenty of carpet squares. I need about 40 of you to come over here. Don't worry. You can my say switch. As you come to a corner, like we did this morning, there might be equipment, and you will direct your kids to pick up a certain amount of equipment. There's poly spots there. There's small balls here. There's volleyball here. There could be scarves or whatever it is you want, whatever skill you're working on during that time. So what I would like some of you to do, about 40 of you, maybe 50, just come out and start walking around the outer belt line. Go. Outer belt line. Walk. Counterclockwise around the outer belt line. Um, find a partner and walk side by side with partners. Continue walking around the outer belt line. Walk the car around the outer belt line. Okay? Good. 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 One of you gets in front. Force and buddy. One of you gets in front. The other person gets behind. When I say switch, just switch. Switch. <laughs> Okay, and switch. Okay, and stop. Whoever's in front, you're number one. Number two, in front of your partner, number one. Take one step to the inside, number one. And now you're in the inner bell line. Just like a, uh, a bell line around the lamp, or not, I guess the door is at the bell line. I'm not struggling with it. Raleigh has the bell line. The outer bell line goes in one direction. The inner bell line goes in the opposite direction. Turn to face your partner and give them a high five. Say, you are my partner. I will find you. Okay, this right here is called your intersection. Wherever you are on your bell line, this is your intersection. This is where you want to be, your partner. Okay? We're going to have the outside, outer bell line partners, and walk quickly inside the inner belt line part. Walk quickly inner belt line. You're going to have to stay between in this area. You cannot climb the area in here. You're going to stay outside the cone. You're going in the, in the, the opposite direction. You're going to find the intersection and you're going to balance on one foot. When you get back to the intersection, you're going to balance on one foot. Why? Why? Give them something to do. Give them something to do. I already know that the inner belt line falls. Chances are you're going to get done perfectly. Just like we did when we were doing squirt, squirt, you can't say that word. When we were doing that stuff, the dance stuff, the inner circle got to be more, more quickly. So when you come here, I want you to take the first one to back is down. Outside circle go that way, inside circle this way go. And we'll come up with power walk, put the foot in very good, very good. First foot is down, two, two. <laughs> very nice long power walk. Very good, good balance. I like that balance. Very good, good balance. Very good, very nice. 
toss it back to you. We'll see if you can ten, toss, ten. Ten, toss, ten. Ready to go. Okay. Five here, way above the net. Yeah. Uh -huh. 